Nathan is falling from an aircraft towards the ocean. He manages to cling on to some cargo containers that have also been ejected and jumps his way back to the plane. But a red sports car tumbles out, knocking him back out. A hand grabs Nathan's hand. It is 15 years earlier and he is pulled up through a museum window by his brother Sam. They find the first map of the whole world by Magellan. They discuss that he was searching for lost gold and if it was lost, then it is still there to be found. They try to steal the map, but are apprehended by security. They are taken back to the orphanage, and Sam is informed that he will be taken away. He goes to collect his things, but plans to run away. He speaks with Nathan and gives him his ring, telling him that he will always be close and promises to come back for him. Present day New York, and Nate is late for work in a bar. He chats with a girl and later lights a cigarette for her outside but steals her bracelet. When he goes back inside, a guy named Soli tells him that he saw what he did and offers him a job, leaving his business card. Nate kicks him out, but then realizes that Soli stole his wallet. Nate breaks into Soli's apartment where he notices Magellan's map. Soli appears and Nate explains what he knows about Magellan's voyage, even though he thinks that it's just a story. Soli believes that it's all true. Soli reveals that he was friends with Sam and they were searching for the gold. They got close before Sam disappeared two years ago. He thinks that if they find the gold, then they will find Sam. Nate still refuses to join him. Nate goes back home and reminisces about his brother. He finds the ring and puts it back around his neck. Nate finally calls Soli and agrees to join him. They plan to steal a cross from an auction house that legend says is the key to finding the gold. Nate says that there are apparently two keys needed, but Soli reveals that he already has the second key. Over the next few days, Nate researches the plans for the auction house and checks out Soli's background. As they arrive at the auction house, they see a man named Mankata getting out of a red sports car. He plans to buy the cross. Nate thinks that a woman chatting with Mankata is checking him out. Her name is Joe Braddock. As she comes over, Soli sends him away. She speaks with Soli and is clearly also after the gold. Everyone takes their seats as the auction starts. Joe tells her henchmen to follow Nate who makes his way to the power room. Bidding starts and Soli urges Nate to cut the power. Nate is interrupted by the henchmen and during the ensuing fight, he interrupts the auction. Whilst everyone is distracted, Soli manages to steal the cross by disguising himself as a worker. He is stopped by Joe who takes the case from him. She, in turn, is stopped by the security and Soli gets the case back. However, Joe takes down security and Soli continues his escape. He gets into a car where he finds Nate waiting for him. They take a plane to Barcelona for the next step where they meet a girl named Chloe who has the other cross. She steals the cross from Nate's backpack and they give chase. Nate manages to convince her to work with them as he has the knowledge to find the lock. Moncada and Joe are also in Barcelona. He instructs her to track down Soli. Later, Chloe asks Soli if Nate knows what happened to his brother. They go to a church that they believe is on the side of the gold hoard. As they explore, Nate realizes that postcards sent to him from Sam were bought at the church. They uncover some symbols on the church floor and follow the trail, leading them to a pair of keyholes. They insert the keys and uncover a doorway. Nate and Chloe go down while Nate stays above ground, tracking their position with an app. Outside, Joe follows Soli while her henchmen look for the others. Underground, Nate and Chloe crash through a porthole into a club. They find a clue but suddenly spot a henchman. Nate creates a distraction while Chloe tries to figure out the clue. As Nate fights, Chloe opens a tunnel and they escape through it. They insert a key and the chamber starts to fill with water. Above ground, Soli is trying to remain directly above them and they tell him that there must be another keyhole up there. Soli finds it and tries to break the glass covering the keyhole. Suddenly, Joe appears demanding the key. He manages to disarm her and uses the gun to break the glass. Soli and Joe fight as the water fills the chamber beneath. Eventually, Soli overcomes her and inserts the key, draining the chamber below. Nate and Chloe climb out and move into another chamber. They light a torch and look around. Soli can see the light from above 
and tries to remove the grate. Nate's key won't fit in the lock, and Soli finds a symbol to indicate that they need to use both keys together. He throws the key down, and the lock is opened. The vault opens to reveal some giant urns. Chloe looks inside to discover that they are filled with salt. The urn breaks, and inside, Nate discovers a map indicating that the gold was never brought back. It is still in the East Indies. Nate turns around to find Chloe pointing a gun at him. She demands that he give her the map. Soli asks what is happening as Nate tries to convince her to trust him. She tells him that he doesn't know what happened between his brother and Soli. Then she knocks him out and takes the map. Sometime later, Nate is woken by Soli who asks about his brother. Soli tells him that they were searching for a journal filled with clues and Joe shot him. Soli managed to escape. Nate is upset that Soli never told him and demands to know why he got him involved. Soli believes that there is a final trick and maybe Nate knows something. Nate cannot believe this and so he walks away. Joe goes to see Moncada to update him on what happened. She tells him that Chloe has a clue to the whereabouts of the gold, but suddenly Chloe appears. Moncada hired her the same day he hired Joe. She will now oversee the operation. Soli finds Nate and tells him that he thinks Chloe has gone to Moncada as only he would have the resources. Nate agrees to finish what his brother started, but afterwards they will go their separate ways. Moncada is loading his sports car onto a plane. It is his good luck charm. Chloe hands him the map. They are being watched by Soli and Nate. On the plane, Chloe explains the plan. Sometime later, they are approaching the Philippines and Moncada is explaining that the last gold was stolen from his family many centuries ago. Suddenly, Joe kills him and then they hunt for Chloe. They check the cargo hold and as they pass the sports car, Nate and Soli climb out. They retrieve the map and then search for parachutes in order to escape. Nate decides to confront Joe as Soli jumps. Nate releases the cargo but is tangled in the ropes as it ejects and he falls out with it. As Joe tries to get to safety, more henchmen arrive with Chloe, but she starts to shoot at them and they fall out of the plane. She makes her way to the sports car and drives out of the plane, knocking Nate out of the way. As they fall, he manages to cling to the car. They both jump onto one of the crates and release its parachute. They slow down and land in the sea below. After some time, they manage to put aside their differences. They spot an island in the distance and swim ashore to a resort where they get a room. Joe and her remaining henchmen arrive at the airport. In their room, Nate realizes that the gold is not where Joe thinks it will be. He believes that Sam may have sent them a clue in his postcards, so together they analyze them. Eventually, he uncovers a hidden message and determines the exact location. He writes down the coordinates. The following morning, Joe arrives on an island. Meanwhile, Chloe wakes early and leaves, taking the coordinates with her. She leaves a note for Nate, saying that she can't trust anyone. However, Nate wrote the wrong coordinates to test her, so she's heading in the wrong direction. Nate takes a boat to the correct location, but is spotted en route by Joe. He sails inside a cave and sees a light beneath the surface. He dives through a tunnel and discovers two wrecked ships. Nate clutches his ring and climbs on board and locates the gold. Soli appears as he's been continuing to track him using the app. Nate is angry as he wanted to do this with his brother, not with the self-centered Soli. They spot Joe arriving and she instructs her henchmen to kill Nate and Soli. The guys hide beneath the deck as Joe's team attempt to free the ships. Some helicopters arrive and the ships are airlifted out through a hole above. Soli fills his bag with gold before they go above deck and fight with the henchmen that are still on board. They win and Soli climbs up to the helicopter. He takes control but is spotted by Joe who sends the other helicopter to intercept. More henchmen jump on board and Nate bravely fights them off. He then loads the cannons with gunpowder and fires them at the other helicopter. It explodes and crashes with the other ship into the sea. Soli congratulates Nate, but Joe has managed to jump aboard and lets down the anchor. The ship is trapped as the helicopter pulls, 
but Soli's bag of gold slips out of the door and hangs precariously from the foot of the helicopter. Soli engages the autopilot and tries to retrieve the bag. Nate climbs up the ship's mast towards the helicopter, followed by Joe. At the last moment, Soli gets his bag and throws it at Joe, causing her to tumble into the sea below. Nate jumps and grabs Soli's hand just as the ship breaks free from the helicopter. It lands in the sea on top of Joe. Nate suggests that they could get a diving rig, but Soli tells him that the Filipino authorities will get the gold first and it will belong to them. As they fly away, they see Chloe arrive and laugh about it. Nate suddenly reveals that he had filled his pockets with gold, so they still have something to show for their adventure. In a prison, it is revealed that Sam is still alive writing postcards. The latest one reads, watch your back. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.